This is happening first time in the world in the recent history when a stock market regulator and its chairman has been directly pinpointed of having an investment in a company which they are already investigating. A short seller is the one uncovering alleged misconduct like this. The biggest corporate drama in India's history is turning into a sequel. Short seller Hindenburg Research has published a new report accusing the Indian regulator of a conflict of interest with the Adani Group. According to Hindenburg, the chairperson of India's Security and Exchange Board, Madhabi Puri Butch, had personal investments linked to Adani that prevented a real probe into the company's fraud allegations. Anshuman Tiwari is an economic journalist in India. Anshuman, let's start by looking into this report. What allegations is Hindenburg making exactly? Uh, uh, see, uh, see that what Oscar Wilde once said that tr truth is uh, no, neither uh, simple and, uh, and not nor, uh, easy to understand. So this is a very complex saga of multiple companies run by Adani Group, investigations taken place by SEBI, and then the investigation itself challenged. The new report which Hindenburg has put in the place and which has created a lot of controversy in India says that uh, India's uh, Security and Exchange Board, of, board uh, Regulator, which is Regulator of Stock Market uh, Chairman uh, Madhvi Puri Buch and her husband Dhawal Buch has invested in a fund which is directly related to the uh, investigation part of SEBI which is doing in relation to the Adani. And the brother of uh, Gautam Adani, who, who was part of the investigation of the SEBI from last three, four years, has also invested in similar funds. And that's the important controversy which is related directly to the, uh, to the regulator. And this is happening first time in the world in the recent history when a stock market regulator and its chairman has been directly pinpointed of having an investment in a company which they are already investigating in, uh, in the context of round tripping of the funds from India uh, from India via via foreign entities to the Indian Indian market again, uh, Indian market again. That's what the entire controversy is right now. Now you mentioned that this is happening within the context of other allegations that the short seller Hindenburg mounted against Adani earlier last year. Could you walk us through the history of Hindenburg and Adani? This is a slightly very interesting and complex history. You know, uh, a few things which one has to make clear. In India, there's a general understanding about the short sellers and short selling is considered that there's something something which is not allowed or it is, it is, it is illegal. But the fact remains, the short selling is allowed everywhere in the world. In India, as also it has been allowed. And globally, short sellers have been have been acted as a whistleblower uh, for for exposing companies. One can recall the famous uh, saga of Jim Chanos, uh, how he exposed Enron in 2001, and then finally Enron got bankrupt, and then uh, U.S. government has to put a complete new uh, legislation for, uh, to to stop this creative accounting, which Jim Chanos has exposed on Enron. Uh, so that way, the short sellers are obviously the short sellers. They are trying to get the uh, benefit of problems inside the company, serious corporate governance and accounting issues, and they mint money out of that. But in other way, they are also whistleblower and they question uh, question the regulatory environment of the given country, uh, which which comes into the discussion on when they put the report. And this has uh, ex exactly happened with the Hindenburg's first report last year. When Hindenburg has clearly uh, in put some facts on the records uh, and released a report that Adani Group in India is using global funds uh, for propping up the share prices, using India's money, taking it forward to the foreign funds and bringing back to the stock market. That was the time when Adani Group was struggling with high debt and looking for a rights issue. This report came at the right at the time when the rights issue was there. There was a huge controversy. Uh, SEBI was al already investigating certain funds before that report was also come into the question. Then Indian, Indian Supreme Court has came into the picture. They asked uh, SEBI to investigate it. The stock market has gone crashed that day. There was a huge uproar in the in, in Indian corporate sector and in regulators. Then finally, after six months, seven months, SEBI has submitted a report giving a sort of clean chit to the entire Hind uh, Adani saga and saying that uh, they have found nothing fishy or controversial into it. It's still, the investigation is going on for the foreign funds. That report went to the Supreme Court and then finally things have closed uh, to the level of the investigation in India. Then this report surfaced, which has said that the investigator itself has a close relation with the funds which are being investigated by, by the SEBI.
Right, now Hindenburg is claiming that this conflict of interest, these personal investments, are the reason that SEBI, the Security and Exchange Board, has not yet taken any meaningful action after Hindenburg's very severe allegations of stock market manipulation uh, one and a half years ago. So is it true that SEBI has been unusually inactive on these allegations compared to maybe other allegations that have surfaced in the past? Rama Fisai, if you see the entire set of the document which has been released by, by Hindenburg, then there's a reaction came from the SEBI itself. And then finally, uh, the reaction came from the Adani group. We put everything together and see this is a very complex web of, of facts which are moving here and there. And that web has to be entangled. The one important part is that uh, it is very clear that SEBI has not found anything big into the earlier Hindenburg report and that way they, they said that Adani's uh, things are clean but the funds are there and they are investigating the fund. But there is one fund, very important fund, which is came into the picture of this, this report which is gone by, by the Global Opportunity Fund and then this uh, uh, Ascent Trade Management Fund and Global Dynamic Opportunity Fund and finally IPE Fund. So this is a complete way of fund. In the IP fund, which is part of the uh, Adani family's investment and managing investment, has a clear connection of investment uh, of uh, Bush families. So Prima Fisai, and if you go by the SEBI chairman's uh, statement, which she released, she has said that that lot of activities has been closed before she came to the uh, to the uh, SEBI as a uh, full time whole time member, and then finally the chair chairman. But uh, question remains that there are certain relations between the Adani, uh, Adani's uh, fund, which is managing Adani's funds, and, and uh, uh, Butch families uh, were there. And that is, that is the part of the record. <clears throat> Second question is came is about some consulting firms promoted by uh, Madhvi Puri Butch and Dhawal Butch. That is yet to be investigated that uh, what kind of activities these consulting firms are, are doing because Madhvi Puri Butch has said that she has disassociated herself from the one one uh, uh, consulting firm but other firm is doing now the claims are coming that the records from the uh, corporate affairs ministry showing that uh, there are certain uh, consultancy firms are there where uh, adani family fam, uh, when which family uh, uh, madhvi puri which which it is still engaged with so this is a complex web of things which prima facie indicates that uh, ma, what we have heard in the sebi report earlier uh, post Hindenburg saga was not not uh, clear, uh, not everything true into that report because there are certain things which are yet to be investigated. Now, what strikes me is that a short seller is the one uncovering alleged misconduct like this. And, and how far is this potentially a shortcoming of Indian authorities? Uh, that happens, it's, uh, this is a very surprising thing because uh, uh, if you see the particularly the investment of Adani Group in India and functioning of Adani Group, uh, this has been investigated uh, by uh, at various level, levels in the last 10 years by the regulators. But uh, the lot of truth has not came up. Uh, probably the reason may be what SEBI has actually said when they have submitted report to the Supreme Court that uh, uh, the access to the global funds and getting the data from them takes time. And that's the reason you may recall that SEBI has actually asked for two extensions from the Supreme Court on submitting the report. Now the short seller, when short seller came in the first report, it has actually exposed those links, bringing the names of those funds, which has been used to round trip or move the funds from India via abroad and bringing back to the India. Those were the similar funds which SEBI was investigating. So there's a question arises that whether SEBI has investigated it thoroughly or it has uh, or it should the further investigation record and report has been closed hurriedly to 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 uh, to uh, and further investigations has been has been uh, slowed down. That's a question there. But two very important points uh, point has to be noted here. One that the Adani Group, which has been prime target of the Hindenburg report, has not sued Hindenburg globally anywhere. Uh, second is that. Uh, which is which is important if the if the if the allegations are completely false, Hindenburg should be sued globally. And secondly, uh, SEBI has investigated on the similar entities which has been indicated in, in the Hindenburg report. So this is a clear cut connect. So Hindenburg is not saying anything, everything which is false because those entities are under investigations of of the SEBI. Uh, post that this new new revelation, which claims that those entities have somehow have relationship. With the with Butch family uh, uh, before Madhvi Puri Butch came came to the city. Anshuman, thank you so much for speaking to us.